What's up guys? We're here at my house. We're gonna be doing a little video on my camera equipment I got recently and we're gonna do a little, you know, rundown of all the lenses, microphones, uh, my editing software and uh, we're even gonna check out all the footage from all the cameras and even the drone footage cameras so it's gonna be dope. Alright, so right now we're filming off the Sony A55. This camera, I think, is super good for how old it is. And the reason I got this camera was because my Canon here doesn't even have a microphone input. So I ended up getting the Sony A55 for just the microphone input. And uh, it's a really great camera. I think I only paid like $200 for it. And I'm using the original kit lens. I also put on the Rogue microphone. So this is the Rode microphone I got, the Video Micro. Uh, I think I paid like $100 for it. And this is the one uh, we're using right now for audio. And uh, it's really pretty much the best, uh, in my opinion, the best uh, shoehorn uh, microphone you're gonna get for 100 bucks, you know what I mean? All right, so this is my uh, Canon Rebel T5 that my mom actually got for me for Christmas, like, a while ago <laughs> so and then I ended up I still use it uh, for all my skateboard footage I just don't really use the microphone for it uh, but uh, the, you can see here that uh, you know the footage isn't even too bad the ISO is up at 640 you know you know 6400 ISO which is the max it can go and for it we got the Rokinon uh, what is it 8 millimeter 3.5 HD removable lens fisheye. This is one of the best uh, really lens you can get for your camera if you're filming skateboarding. Uh, it's, it's worth it. <laughs> I think it's like, a, I paid like 150 bucks for it. Uh, totally worth it for the great angles. You can see this footage is fucking gnarly, dude. Uh, Definitely great for this uh, low angles, you know what I'm saying? Get those extremes. Uh, they make it for Canon and Sony, so that's like uh, great news. And uh, I mean, 180 bucks shipped, can't beat it. And last but not least of the cameras, we got the DJI Mavic Mini. This thing's only a year old. Uh, you can get one with like the whole kit set up for 350 Space bucks. Time. I mean, you can't beat it. Honestly, this thing is so fucking fun. I have so much fun with this. <clears throat> you need an SD card and you might as well invest in some batteries if you go this route because, I mean, you only can fly it for like a half hour until the battery gets out. And the batteries are like 50 bucks, so, <laughs> I mean, might as well Space do it, time. you know what I mean? Definitely get the protection plan. I've already crashed this thing in the water. And uh, good thing I got the plan because if I didn't, I would have just it would have been done. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we'll take some uh, we'll take a look at some footage uh, with this thing. It's got a, you can see. It, I mean, maybe it's got a little gimbal here, keeps the camera stable. Uh, that's pretty much why I ended up investing in this thing, is so I can get like the good up and down cinematic, steady shots. And I'm not gonna lie, I fly this thing and I have the best time with it, so I definitely recommend getting something like this. Last thing with the camera equipment I just wanted to mention were the new light setup I got for like 50 bucks from this no-name company. But there's still, I mean, for 50 bucks you get studio lights, you know, and you really need that to make your footage definitely inside stand out and so you don't have to go as high with your ISO and uh, so you can get that nice footage so you can get that nice footage all right so we're here in movie studio it's pretty much how i uh get all my clips edited and looking how i like them. basically just come in here and you know pick whatever clips i like drag them in the box and cut them up Space and splice time. them together to match the music and uh 
maybe add a couple uh, effects here and there to make them look how I like. Once you render that video, I usually take it over here and make a new composition in Adobe After Effects. And through here, I can pretty much go frame by frame, <laughs> draw smiley faces or whatever, what have you, and uh, make the video look even just that much better. Uh, and that's pretty much how I get stuff done. Once that's done, I also go here and export the video and add a render queue, and then render this video, and that's how I do it.